Well, welcome to our sharing of our favorite hymns that we're going to see here in a moment from different members of the congregation. Singing is such an important part of the life of the church. It has fed the, the hope of the church ever since the beginning. Uh, think about uh, even the Lord Jesus when he is uh, instituting the Lord's Supper. He and the disciples sang together. I remember Paul and Silas in Scripture whenever they had been, had been thrown into prison there in Philippi. They were singing together. The other prisoners must have heard them sing perhaps the Psalms that we are familiar with today. In a modern hymn, uh, at least modern for the church in church history, is Here We Are But Straying Pilgrims. And uh, we hear in that song that we are in the wilderness, we are uh, wanderers, this world really isn't our home, and yet on this journey in the wilderness, we sing this wayside hymn to give us hope and give us encouragement. So I hope that that's what you find tonight, uh, perhaps sharing memories with your family as you hear uh, different, different members uh, talk about their favorite hymn and why. Uh, let's listen in together. It is well with my soul, a classic popular hymn is my favorite. It's my favorite for so many reasons, but mostly because of the memories and deep emotions that it calls every time we sing it. It was popular growing up my whole life. I remember singing that song at church. I remember it becoming really popular in the late 2000s. And in 2011, when my grandfather, Don Benzant passed away, we sang it at his funeral. He passed away very suddenly and we were all so heartbroken. So through hot tears and open wounds, we sang that song and it wasn't well with our souls. The summer after he passed, I was a camp counselor at Wildwood and I think that song was our theme song. We sang it so much at every important event and moving moment, we sang that song. And every time I cried and God worked on my heart throughout that summer through that song and made it well with my soul. And this last year in August, when my grandfather, Flavel Yakely, passed away, we sang that song again at his funeral. But this time it was so different. <laughs> I sang it with eyes closed and a wide grin, imagining his faith becoming sight. That song is so special to me, and I know it's special to so many of you as well. My favorite hymn is Victory in Jesus. Growing up, I had an adopted grandfather. Uh, we called him Papa Bob. He led singing a lot at our church in Tulsa growing up, and Victory in Jesus was his favorite song, so we sang it all the time. Papa Bob died when I was about eight years old. Uh, I remember sitting in church several times in the years that followed, and every time we sang that song, I, I ended up crying because I missed him so much. Uh, as I grew up, though, I began to listen to the words more closely, especially after, especially after I was baptized. Victory in Jesus, like so many of the songs that we sing, tells of our faith journey. In verse 1, we hear about this old story. By verse 2, we hear how we can be healed. And by the end of verse 2, we're pleading for our spirit to be healed. Uh, in verse 3, we hear an amazing description of heaven. And about some sweet day, we're going to sing the song of victory. And it just makes me think of singing that in heaven with Papa Bob one day. And the song not only means so much to me, but to my entire family. Anytime we sing it, uh, me and my mom usually look around the auditorium for each other and just think back on how much the song means to all of us. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. That's my favorite praise song. I have lots of favorite songs. My favorite prayer song is be with me lord i cannot live without thee through various stages of my life those songs have been what came to mind in times of joy and in times of worry and puzzlement and disappointment and all those things that are common parts of life I pray often using the words of songs. And so I could list a lot of songs that are my favorites. 
It depends on where I am at the moment. Hey everybody, uh, miss everyone. Um, our favorite songs are uh, things that are dear to our hearts. Personally, uh, I've always had a, a, a like for the song, Oh Lord, Our Lord, because you can't really sing that song without really getting into it. And it puts me in a great uh, mindset for worship to uh, give true, genuine worship to God. Crystal? My favorite song is Thank You, Lord. Uh, it just reminds me of how thankful we are, and it just really always brightens my my mood and my day. James, what's your favorite song? Um, my favorite is Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, and it makes me happy to jump around. All right. Good job. All right. Hello, Brentwood family. I miss you so much. I miss being able to sit with you and sing and hear your beautiful voices. The song I want to bring up today is Jesus Hold My Hand, written in 1933. The words are just hold my hand, help me get through this pilgrim pathway, and be the light to my feet. I love the words, I love the fast upbeat, and that altos lead and rock it. So, <laughs> love you guys, God bless you, take care. Okay, I have um, two, two hymns I would like to um, just discuss here briefly. Uh, first one is both both very old, old hymns, uh, Trust and Obey. I remember when I was in the second and third grade, it was one of my favorite songs. And I remember my second grade teacher telling my mom, boy, that Carter sure likes that song, Trust and Obey, because when we're done with it, he just keeps singing it. And uh, I just love the words in it. I, the words actually have changed for me over the years. Um, but um, that is boy, a song that I've always liked ever since I was just, uh, very, very young. The other one was is holy, 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 and and both trust and obey and holy, holy, holy. When our kids were very young, I would rock them at night, and uh, I would sing those songs or two of the songs that I would sing them, and I, and I can't help to think today that when they hear those songs, they think of those times in the different houses we lived in. That um, boy, those were the songs Dad sang us when we were young. So. Trust and Obey and Holy, Holy, Holy are two of my um, all-time favorites. Thank you. Hi, my favorite song is Whispering Hope. Uh, several years ago, after a particularly difficult time with my teenage son, I went upstairs and sat down at my desk and opened an old hymnal, and it fell open to that song. I especially liked the middle verse something like if in the dusk of the twilight dim be the region afar will not the gathering darkness brighten the glimmering star then when the night is upon us why should the heart sink away when the dark midnight is over watch for the breaking of day it's always been a favorite of mine and my favorite is it is well with my soul mainly because of the story behind it. And Charlie has told this story from the pulpit, but this man, Horatio Spafford, Spafford had lost so much. He had lost a lot of his business in the Chicago fire. Then he had a son who died of scarlet fever. And then his four daughters went down in a shipwreck. And I just think it is well with my soul at a time like that. And that's what we all need to be right now. Even in the worst of times, we know that God is still there. Can you sing your favorite song? I'll show you. Okay, sing it. Nice job. Hi, Brentwood family. We miss y'all. Uh, Lindsay Pounds here. Uh, my favorite hymnal has always been Trust and Obey. Um, when I was growing up, we would go to my grandparents during the summer down at their farm, and my grandma would always be humming that um, hymnal when she was washing dishes or doing house chores. Um, and I always loved singing it in their old little church um, in East Texas with like, you know, 25 people. And then when Kent and I got married, um, Trust and Obey was the hymnal that we chose to sing at our um, ceremony 
because we always believe that if we um, trust God and obey his commands, then our marriage will be blessed. Um, and it's such an easy tune to remember and my kids remember it. Uh, so that's why I've always loved trust and obey. Well, grace and peace to you from the Johansons. Uh, we have a favorite family song, and that is, This Is My Father's World. We love singing this song, and especially the third verse, which we're going to sing here in a moment. But uh, that third verse reminds us of who is really in control. And it reminds me of what John sees in Revelation 4 and 5. Uh, he's in a situation where the Romans look like they are in charge, and things are not going very well for the church. But in Revelation 4 and 5, God essentially pulls the shades up and allows John to see what's really going on in this world. Uh, that God, the one who sits on the throne and the Lamb, is at the very center in complete control and being worshipped day in and day out. And we join in with that worship as we sing this third verse. This is my Father's world Oh, let me ne'er forget That though the wrong seems all so strong God is a ruler yet This is my Father's world Why should my heart be sad? The Lord is King, let the heavens ring God reigns, let the earth be glad. Blessings. I'm not sure if this is one of my favorite songs, but it's one that's tied in with an event in my life, and uh, uh, it particularly speaks to me at this moment. In the spring of 1991, I was a part-time youth minister at a congregation in South Austin while I was going to classes at Austin grad. Uh, one Tuesday night driving back from class, I heard on the radio that Operation Desert Shield had started. One of my students, one of my youth members was over there somewhere. He joined the military over the summer and we didn't know where or what was going on. I thought about him that evening and the next evening, Wednesday night, we gathered for our time of devotional. I saw his mom back there and his three little sisters. And during the devotional, we sang this song, and I can still see the faces of the congregation. It goes like this. I'm, I'm going to put in the question marks at the end of each first phrase that were in the original. Peace, perfect peace. In this dark world of sin, the blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Peace, perfect peace. With loved ones far away, in Jesus' keeping, we are safe and they. Peace, perfect peace, our future all unknown. Jesus we know, and he is on the throne. It is enough. Life's struggles soon will cease. And Jesus call us to heaven's perfect peace grace and peace to you this evening. Greetings. We've been asked to choose a favorite hymn. And for me, that's really hard because I have a lot of favorite hymns. But the one that I have chosen is one from our Psalter that Mark Ship and his group has so lovingly and carefully put together over the last number of years. And it is God Enthroned Forever by Ruth Ann Somerville and arranged by Randy Dahl. And the words are, when I feel far from you and my heart is calling from the reaches of the earth, oh, do not forsake me. Lead me to your high places when I am bombarded. Cover me with your wings. Shelter and keep me safe. To all who fear your name, you have poured out blessings so that I may sing your praise. Fulfill all my vows, Lord. May your kingdom draw nearer and the king be worshipped. 
for my hope is in you. All my hope rests in you. My heart cries out to you. Lead me to your high places. Lead me to your high places. God enthroned forever. God is enthroned forever. Grace and peace to all of you. Love.